I'm gonna show you how to use the fiery sweet to make a bulgogi bowl. All right, team, so let's start with the marinade. First thing, soy sauce. Toasted sesame oil, honey, and lastly, a little mirin, which is basically just sweet cooking wine. So I'm just whisking until the honey dissolves right into the rest of the liquids. And this is the first place I'm gonna apply the fiery sweet. Since this is gonna be a really quick sear, I'm really just going for, you know, moderately sized cubes. It's kind of like a poke cut. So it's pretty important to never over marinate seafood. So uh, with beef or pork, you can do hours, but with seafood, no more than 45 minutes. So remember, your clock has started. It's all about a very quick marinade. Um, a few tips to the perfect sear. Uh, number one is preheat your pans. Number two is use a neutral oil, right? Peanut, canola, grapeseed, sunflower, any of that fancy oil is fine. You want enough oil so when, when you, when you kind of push it around, there's enough oil to kind of hit every square inch of this pan. I'm looking for that surface kind of white smoke and that's, that's it right there. So here we go. I'm gonna go uh, down and away from me so I don't get any flare ups here. And make sure to use the surface area of the pan. There's no need to crowd it, right? Every bit of salmon should have um, a direct contact to the metal, and you want to make sure there's room around it because uh, you, you know all that steam is going to go somewhere, and you don't want it to keep the piece next to it from searing. It's really important that you don't go in and start moving the salmon around too much. Um, I want each piece to be treated thoughtfully and I want a sear on each piece. And the real easy way is just leave it alone. Uh, let the salmon start to sear on its own. When you start to see the salmon move back and forth, it's time to start tossing. So if you're not comfortable kind of doing the overhead toss, just get in and use the edge of the pan, push it forward and it'll fall back on its own. It's fish, we don't want to overcook fish. So when you have uh, most of the pieces with a really kind of beautiful char, and caramelization, give it another toss. And in about 10 seconds, I'm done. So the fiery sweet has done its job. I can see the sesame and the herbs and the spices. And uh, with the heat, uh, it's almost blooming all of those flavors. I'm gonna pull the salmon off and you're gonna see how it all gets put together. All right, so it's time to assemble the fiery sweet bulgogi bowl. It's really simple. This kind of is the perfect meal for any time of day. Uh, I'm gonna use rice as the base. I'm using white rice here, but feel free to use anything from um, you know, brown rice, I've got white rice. You can even use cauliflower rice if you're really keeping it uh, light. And we're just loading it with these vegetables. And every veggie is going to bring a different color and a texture. So we've got carrots. We've got the purple cabbage. Uh, the salmon was fire sweet, and the and we used the sour power to make these really kind of kimchi quick pickles. It's going to add a really beautiful acidic pop there. And then I'm going to bring the salmon over the top, kind of in the middle. Look at that sear. This is just insane. Like this is just crazy delicious. I'm gonna do the salmon kind of in the middle, spilling over, and then I'm gonna do one more creamy avocado garnish on the side. Avocado fan on the side here. Oh yeah. And we'll top this all off with a little bit of the chives. There you have it, friends. The fiery sweet bulgogi bowl using the sour power pickles. Uh, that's it. Uh, that's my idea of a perfect meal.